Well hi guys, it's George from Cyprus Insights and this evening I've had a delish meal here in Ayanapa here we are at Nissi Avenue and I thought we'd go for a little walk to walk off that enormous delish meal so it's very busy and let me see what the date is guys so it's the 8th of June guys and it's very very busy now there's people everywhere the place is very lively a massive contrast from a few months ago when we were down here having a stroll all the shops are open of course and the restaurants are very busy traditional Cypriot taverna there on my right taxis and places to rent these quad bikey things look there we are chaps selling all sorts of trips around the island so you can get everything you could possibly want on Nissi Avenue it's across the road now be careful guys because there's a lot of hire cars around so as you're crossing the road be careful because they're not familiar with the roads cream shops look at the size of that one well they must have about 50 flavors to choose from oh that lady had about six scoops wow that's amazing six scoops of ice cream i think it was a big cup anyway there's zorba's the bakery again lots of delicious food in there so you can pick up a picnic in zorba's go up to the sculpture park or go up to Capo Greco watch the sunset there's Mr. Tzatziki good value for money there we are. great big doner kebabs fast food wow isn't it amazingly busy guys can't believe it lots and lots of gift shops around handbags and things for the beach crocodiles and all sorts of creatures you can put into the sea and float around just be careful guys it narrows down here oh look you can get a chicken how about that chicken now these are the places where you can book all your tours look see so if you're not sure where to go first time here you can always go to one of those travel agents and book a tour around the back i think look at this a big uh, clothes shop never noticed that before Ooh, lots of things in there there's a bit of a fairground across the road like you can uh, shoots little glasses and all sorts of things smash plates oh it's like a one of those sort of places where you could throw things at uh, all sorts of plates and stuff and if you hit three plates you get a teddy bear or something like that you know that type of thing going on Bedrock Cafe, that's a lovely restaurant. It's great for the kids over there because they've got this massive kids' playground right at the back and it's all based on the Flintstones. Lots of fun. Well, mind these things on the pavement, look. They're a bit strange, aren't they? 
Right, so if you want to go up here, guys, it is signposted. That'll take you into the town centre and into Bar Street, where all the nightclubs are. That's called the living room, look. Very trendy, isn't it? They're all having that bubble bubble stuff puffing away. There's Moo Moo's, the fancy cow restaurant. An Italian next to it, and more gift shops. The Olive Tree restaurant, very fancy steak restaurant. There it is, just across the road. Mine, there's some more of these sort of concrete pools on the side of the pavements. That's really strange, you just trip over them. Oh, it's to stop parking, guys. That's clever, isn't it? So you don't park your car on the pavement. Strange sort of things. Now there's a whole row of brand new shops here and they were building these last year. I thought they might not finish them this year but it looks like they're coming up to the final stages. And I think they're all rented or a lot of them are rented. Look you can see this one's having some sort of shop front being put in so that's obviously rented to a company as such. Not sure about this particular one here. And I do believe the one coming up is going to be a restaurant. This one here, I think it's a restaurant. And the one on the end is up and running. Yes, I think it's a quite a posh restaurant. I don't know what it's called. Let's we'll have a look. That's all up and running, as I said. Oh, it looks very nice, doesn't it? Look at that. Brand new place. It's a fusion grill. There we are. A fusion grill. Oh, very nice. So that's brand new. That's quite a good supermarket, actually, that one across the road. The Alpha Supermarket. Got all sorts of stuff in there. I think these shops are brand new as well. The brand new pharmacy lock. I'm not sure what this one is next door. Some sort of perfume shop. It's enormous. Pompeii Pizza. Pompeii Pizza. Very nice. Oh, I wonder what this is. Ooh, new bit. Is it a car park or something? Not too sure. Looks like some sort of road going to the back, doesn't it? Look. An open space. A road going to the back. Or maybe it's a new road or maybe there's a new park going at the back. Sweet 34. Ooh. Very nice. There we are. We're going to head back to the car just here, but before we do that, let me show you the robot in disguise. Is it a robot in disguise or is it some sort of um, robot that changes into some other robot? A transformer. Not sure, guys, but it's made of all sorts of things like bicycle chains, cogs, there's a motor there, suspension. What else we got? I'm not sure what that is, some sort of blade or fan. Uh, past that bit. And uh, there we are. I'm not sure what that was. Some sort of uh, fuel tank for a motorbike maybe so there is there's our robot oh what we got here creature from outer space Ooh, look at that Ooh. 
Now that's a uh, rebar, chains. I'm not sure what that was. More rebar and some sort of hooks on his arm. And he's got this other sort of, not sure what it is, guys. He looks uh, very frightening, doesn't he? Oh, wouldn't like to come across him when he's angry. So that's the end of our little walk down Nissy Avenue. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's somewhere you'd like me to go, put it in the comments below.